This is my latest loom. It's based on the Meccano 16A loom, which was hand operated. I've heavily automated and motorized this one. It has a motor on each side of the sleigh in place of the picks to push the shuttle through the warps one each side. These have a reversing relay so that when they get to the end of their inwards travel they operate the reversing relay and so they move back out again. There's another motor here to operate the heels up and down. Another motor here to push the sleigh backwards and forwards to tighten up the weave. And the whole thing is controlled by a sequencer here based on Chris Schutz's idea and that has its own motor. So there's five motors, two relays and something like eight micro switches. So it's deliberately overcomplicated. And I must say, it doesn't work any better than any of the other looms that Meccano builders have made. And let's give it a go here. The heels swap. And of course, as we're on video, something goes wrong. The shuttle just caught there. Let's carry on. Heels reverse, shuttle goes back the other way, slave comes forward to tighten up the weave. This time it worked. Heels reverse, shuttle goes back. All controlled by the sequencer here. This is one of the picks. When the motor runs, it uh, drives a chain underneath. That moves the pick back and forth. When the pick gets to the middle, it hits a limit switch. That operates this latching, reversing relay. And when the pick comes back out again, the other limit switch cuts off the power, so the reversing relay uh, unlatches. This is the mechanism for swapping the heels. Quite simple. Except that for some reason it takes two operations of the micro switch. I don't know why it does that, but as it worked I left it that way. And then here, this is the simplest. The sleigh going back and forth. When the sleigh comes back to the center, it operates this limit switch, and that triggers the sequencer to move to the next operation. The loom is controlled by this sequencer. It has six positions. The first is the left pick, as we might call it, pushing the shuttle through the warp. The second position would be the sleigh moving back and forth. The third position is the heels swapping place. The fourth position, uh, the other pick on this side, 
pushing the shuttle the other way through the warp. The fifth is the sleigh moving forward again. And the sixth is the heels swapping places again. And that's the sequence of six operations. Each one has its own motor. And there are switches like these, these. They're all limit switches. And what they do is divert the power from the previous motor to the sequencer motor. So the sequencer steps around one time and moves on to the next operation. Well, that's it. I finally got a loom that produces something that resembles cloth. Now the point of this model was more the um, operation and control rather than actually producing the cloth. Okay, thanks for watching.